2015 videos by Andrew Buckle. In this video I'm just going to quickly show you another new feature of Photoshop and this is the filter and blur gallery. Of course no difference there from 2014. There's options such as filled blur but once you actually go into the filled blur got the standard blur there but now there is actually a little palette over here for noise and what you can do is the first option Gaussian. You can modify the you get some lovely noise added to the picture. You can also make it coloured as well. There's other options such as highlights. So you just reduce that down. See a subtle change. If there's a highlight up there, just reduce that down. Suddenly disappears off there. Right. Now, there's also another option, the uniform. And one weird thing is it always puts it back, which is would be nice if it was just set there. But anyway, so you can push that up. And you get a nice uniform noise. And again, you've got color and you've got highlights again. Now, if you want to remove it, just quickly click there. Now, it only appears if you've actually got, so if you put the blur up, it actually modifies by the blur. So you actually increase the blur. You can actually see the grain. So I'll just push that up and you see the grain again more. But if you go down and you go push it down to that, you hardly see the grain at all now. And I'm just gonna go lower. Just just a subtle grain and blur at zero, nothing. So it needs a blur setting. So next thing, the final one, which I prefer grain, really, really nice. Grain again puts it back down to zero. You can modify the grain amount, push that up, and again just make the blur a bit more so you can actually see the grain. You can modify the size. So you can make it a little bit more. That's quite nice. But I like, I love grain. And again, you can reduce it down. And you just subtle. Right. Now, also, you can modify the roughness. So you can make it less rough. So you can make it a bit more like a, just a very nice, still a very nice grain as well there. But you can modify the roughness. You can push it all the way up to make it a very rough grain. Great, noisy, very dirty sort of picture. Excellent. Right. Another option, of course, you can obviously modify the size down. There's also colour as well, so you can actually add colour into that grain as well. So you've got a nice uh, colourful grain there as well. And again, the highlight option, you can reduce it down. Again, clears it nicely from those. And of course, you can do, you don't have to use that one. You don't have to use fill blur. You can also use, just click that, and my favourite, pass blur. It's always good. The one I don't really like is personally is the iris blur. And I'm just going to go back to that one, get rid of that iris blur, because what it does, it creates this weird sort of, it's not so great. Anyway, personal preference, I prefer the grain working with past blur. So now, once you've actually got that, I'm just going to go over there. I just move that over there. Modify that. And you can modify the speed, and you've got that lovely grey, nice swirl up there. All right. Anyway, that's one new feature in the thing. But once you've actually done that, and I'm just going to quickly apply. So you've got the grain there. Now, of course, you can do the usual edit and fade. So you can just go back there. You don't have to keep. Actually, you can just make it obviously a lot more subtle grain, or you can darken, multiply the usual selection options there lighten as well as darker colour and to create sort of nice sort of spotty grain across the image click OK and of course what you can also do you can do things like duplicate layer and use blending modes to combine and modify the grain as well it's a really nice feature in Photoshop hope you check it out hope you found this tutorial of interest thank you much